Hey guys, welcome back to Decorate with Dana. So in today's video, I thought I would share with you my spring home tour. So I decorated pretty early for spring and I did it really simply. If you guys have seen my decorating videos, you know I don't add a ton of decor. So I just like to keep it relatively simple. Some areas I add a little more than others, but um, I just don't ever like it to feel too cluttered or overcrowded. So the main thing I love to decorate for in the spring is greenery. So you'll see a lot of neutral tones and greenery. And so this does not include my Easter decor. There may be a piece or two of Easter up just because maybe they were a DIY and there was no sense in putting them away. But I will be starting my Easter decorating this coming week. So I thought I would just show you how all of it flows together. If you have seen different Decorate With Me videos, you've seen it pieced apart. So now you can kind of watch it flow together. So I wanna thank you guys all so much for all of your support. If you are new, I hope you will consider subscribing and um, share my videos with your family and friends. That would help me out so much and I truly appreciate all your guys' support. So we are going to go ahead and get in with this home tour. Okay, so when you walk in my front door, there is my dining room to the left and straight ahead is the family room. And yes, that is a kitty perch right there, right by the stairs. Probably in the most inconvenient place, but you know what? The cats like it there. They use it all the time. So I'll move it when necessary, but this is a real life video and that is where we keep the kitty perch for now. And then over here to the right is my office. So we'll start here in the entryway. To the left, I have this little bench that came from Hobby Lobby with the pillow that came from Hearth and Hand Collection. Again, I decorated all this in a video, so you probably can get a little bit more detail. I've got the hooks and the sign that came from Hobby Lobby, and I love just the flowers sticking out of the farmer's market bag, hanging right here by the door. You know, looks like I just came back from the farmer's market and bought some beautiful flowers. And then over here, I kept my entryway table as simple as possible. I have this arched mirror that came from TJ Maxx, and I just put this little dogwood arrangement here on the table. I think the only thing that changed since my video was I added that little um, placemat charger underneath that just to kind of break up the wood with the glass. And then I just have those little baskets down there that I think there's probably some kitty toys in there actually, but pretty much it's just for storage if we need it. And then over here on this wall, I have my bike picture, which I just adore. That came from at home last year. Office, so we'll start in my office. I really haven't changed anything much since my last home tour. Um, I keep it a lot of blush pink, so there really wasn't any need to really update it or to add spring decor because to me it feels very springy as it is anyways. So these are the tie-up curtains and I got those from Target. And then the chairs were just from Craigslist. The table was an old table that we had in our family room and I ended up getting new tables. So I brought that in here. And I just have this blush pink throw on the back of these chairs with some really pretty blush pink pillows. And then I have still kept these out from Christmas time. These were all from Pier 1, and I just think they're beautiful. I don't want to put them away. I love them. So I just kept those out, and I have a lot of gold accents in here as well. So this is basically how I've kept this. And then over here, I just have a plant. And then over here, I have this little stool. It's probably not going to stay here, but it kind of disguises some of the cords back there. And I have that lantern that I added. Those, they were actually Christmas bulbs again, and they're just in a blush pink and silver and gold. And then up here on the wall, this whole, mostly this whole arrangement came from Hobby Lobby, I think, except for the little wreath came from Target. And then I just kept my desk decor simple. Uh, usually my laptop sits there. I think that's up in my bedroom. Um, and just kept it, you know, pretty simple and again, keeping with the blush pink theme. And then over here, my Cricut is not blush pink, but it's pink and it has to sit somewhere. So I just set it right out there. Um, and I, th it's fine. You know, I use it all the time, so there's no sense in putting it away. And over here, I just have two little blush pink candle holders on either side of my Cricut. And then this little arrangement is just in a vase and I have some pink flowers in there. 
And I also have that same arrangement on the other side of the chairs in here. And then up above here, I just have this window archway and I this is a DIY wreath that I made. I think that's relatively new that I've added in here. And then um, the little galvanized uh, holders on either side are from Hobby Lobby. And then over here in my in the corner, I just have this storage unit from Hobby Lobby and it's it works perfectly for helping me store some of my arts and craft supplies because they were getting out of control. And then I just have this little plant from Target on one of the little macrame um, holder or coasters that I made. And then over here is where I have this other arrangement that's next to the chair. So this is how my office looks. Like I said, I didn't really add anything additional for spring. This has been like this besides that wreath, I think that's on the window archway. Otherwise this has been like this and it feels already springy and bright. Oh, and then down on the floor, I have one of the little faux fur rugs and a kitty sunbathing. <laughs> so when you come out of my office and go left through the front door is my dining room. And here is an overview of what the dining room looks like. I still don't have any curtains up here. I'm just not sure what I wanna do. I don't wanna just hang something that I don't love. So that's still a work in progress. So we'll start over here at my hutch. I just have this little arrangement up here at the top. Again, sticking a lot with the neutrals and then pops of greenery. And then on here, I just have this grow, cook, eat sign. We'll open this up. So inside the hutch, I kept it again, pretty simple and neutral. I still haven't added my third shelf in there. I love being able to have, add tall items like this vase with this greenery in here. So I haven't even added the third shelf in yet. So that, that vase in the middle came from Target. And then most of this other stuff came from Hobby Lobby or TJ Maxx. I love using moss balls. I feel like they're, they are very much spring decor. And then down here at the bottom, I have just some more very neutral, some Ray Dunn pieces. Um, I love this little stack of their fake books that came from TJ Maxx. Just added a little greenery on top of there, my little honey pot. And then these little leaves, fig leaves came from Target. So this is everything that I have in my hutch and on top of my hutch. So coming over here, this is the one of my newer uh, furniture decor pieces. This came from Hobby Lobby. I love this piece of furniture. And if you guys watched me decorate this, I wasn't sure if I was going to hang the mirror or leave it sitting there. I love it sitting there. And then I have the option to replace it with anything I want at any time and there's not huge holes in the wall because this mirror is so heavy. So I love it just sitting here. I just have my lamp, my home sweet home sign. So then I have my little bird cage here with my little bunny in it. And then this greenery that came, garland that came from Hobby Lobby, I love it. It's probably one of my favorite garlands that they carry. It's just very wispy, long pieces, and I just love that. So I have my little bunny here in my bird cage. Over here in this little bar area, um, I have this two tiered tray and I decorated this in a video. So basically this is all the same. Again, just a lot of neutrals and greenery. So one of my most recent videos that I put up was decorating my, or some Easter or, no, not Easter, I'm sorry, spring tablescape decor ideas and if you guys watched it, I kind of mixed and matched a couple different things, which was which is what I loved about these arrangements is that you could do that. So I did stick with this gray runner. I just love that. I think it's neutral and really pretty. And then, so this is what I ended up doing with the places. I have the um, chargers there, the rustic chippy looking chargers. I have my Beal and Willow plates here. And then this was the plate that came from Amazon. And then I did the rose napkins that I showed you guys how to make in my tablescape video. And then these pretty mug or goblets came from Pier One years ago. I've had those for a long time. So I just did four place settings for now. 
And then I did use my balance scale. And if you guys watched the video, I had candles or vases. Well, I ended up taking those off. I put these little wreaths that came, they were a two pack from Walmart. And then I just added in here a little pink rose and a white rose. Those are the fake ones. The white ones came from Amazon and the pink ones came from Hobby Lobby. And I love this. I love the way that it looks. I think it just looks pretty and fresh and spring or fresh and bright for spring. And then here's a view of them from the other side. So you can see the white and the pink roses. So I am super happy with how that all turned out. There's Miss Kova over there by the front door looking out. So here is a view from this side of the dining room. I have the hutch over here and the table and then my other little table over there. And then in that corner right over there and in this corner I have, these are the trash to treasure stools that I picked up at Goodwill. I painted those and stained the tops and I just have this really pretty arrangement here with um, some greenery and then I added in some of these little roses in there or whatever kind of flowers those are, I don't even know, but those blush pink flowers in there and I love that. And then up here on the wall, I have my thankful and blessed sign with my two shutters and I added little lamb's ear wreaths to those. And then down here on the floor, I just have this runner rug. I had this one in the kitchen in front of my sink and I ended up putting another one down there and I like the way that this one looks in here. So here is one more overview look of how the dining room has come out. And the hutch is over there. Come in straight through the front door. This door right here is my husband's office. I have that closed off. He has his own personal stuff in there. So um, I just closed that door. So in here, I recently posted a video where I put this peel and stick wallpaper up here. I highly recommend this. It was very challenging. And the challenging part about it was matching the pattern. And it's really not perfect. So don't look that closely. But um, I love this wallpaper. It has like a textured finish and it's just so pretty. And I, I just did it on this one back wall and I think it just added so much to this room, to this little bathroom. So then over here above the toilet, so here is the toilet. I have this little hearth and hand basket back here for some tissues and some room spray. This please seat yourself sign my husband made. And then I just have my little cow print above this shelf from Hobby Lobby. And then those little bike planters from the Target dollar spot are adorable. I added that with another little plant from Target. And then just this little love picture on a little pedestal or a little riser from Target. And then these gorgeous, gorgeous towels are from Target and I absolutely love them. So I grabbed that one and then I have another one here and another one down in this basket. So over here on this wall, I have this table that I got from Hobby Lobby. And then I have that Magnolia Home basket with one of those towels draped over it. And then I have a bunch of extra toilet paper in there. And there's no shortage of toilet paper in this house. I'll tell you that right now. And then I have a moss greenery ball and in a galvanized, or not a galvanized, in a terracotta pot. And then up here, I have this little greenery arrangement in this galvanized pitcher. The, the arrangement came from TJ Maxx. And then this little shutter decor with this galvanized uh, magnolia wreath came, both of all that came from Hobby Lobby. And then over here, this shelf used to be in my kitchen and I just moved it in here. I have my little Touch of Farmhouse Charm book. I love that. It's such a great book, you guys. It's got the best DIYs in it. And then I have just this little um, pitcher, watering can that came from Hobby Lobby and a little plant that came from Target. So here is an overall view of this little bathroom. And I love, I think that the peel and stick wallpaper made such a huge difference and made it feel I don't know, more cozy, I guess, in the bathroom. I don't know. I guess cozy in the bathroom is a good thing. 
So then when you come out of the bathroom and you go to the right, this is my family room. I really didn't change much in here. I mean, maybe a few little things, but um, I did add my blanket, that really pretty greenish blue colored blanket from Marshall's. I added that to my blanket ladder. And then over here, I have just a plant that was from Target. And then this little basket came from the Target dollar spot as well. And then I have a happy spring sign. And then I still need to put tissues in that tissue box there. Down here, I just have this little, you know, vase filler in this dough bowl arrangement. And then there is an Easter decor, the bunny trail that I made in a DIY. So I just put that there for now. And then my little tic-tac-toe game came from Pier 1. Over here in this corner, I have my little table is from Target and I just have my little arrangement. I've had this forever with my farmhouse beads wrapped around it that came from Hobby Lobby. And then my chair itself is from At Home and this is my favorite corner. I am in this corner all the time. Every morning I get up in this corner and, you know, turn on this really pretty light. I found this light from home goods and just kind of snuggle up in this corner and do some computer work or whatever. So, and then I just added this really pretty blanket, um, sit in the same color as the one on the blanket ladder. And it looks so pretty on this chair. And that pillow is from Joanne's and this blanket is from Marshall's as well. So up here on the mantle, nothing has changed. I love that barn picture. This will probably stay this way most of the summer. Um, the barn picture is from Pier 1. The candlesticks are from Hobby Lobby, and I just have some lamb's ear garland and lamb's ear around those. I still have my little birch logs here with just some lamb's ear around those. And my lantern, and I just have a, the, one of the faux candles that you can use remote control, and then this little wreath, berry wreath behind it, cut, brings in the colors. And then <laughs> Kova's dog bed. And then this little table came from Pier 1, and I just have a lamp and a candle. And then this little arrangement underneath, that picture came from Hobby Lobby, and I just have lamb's ear sprigs in that. So then over here on my couch, I just have all of my botanical print pillow covers that I got from Amazon. I will definitely link those. They are probably my favorite thing I've purchased from Amazon for decor-wise in a while. So I have that one, I have this one, and then this one also matches the one on the other end. And then my coffee table, my husband made for me for my birthday, and I'm literally in love with it. It's just so beautiful. He did such an amazing job. So on the coffee table, I have this tray, and I just put this little candlestick with this little lamb's ear garland around it, and that little bird on there, and then I have this lantern, and a candle from Target on top of my, um, what is that? Cozy White Cottage book, love that by the way. And another one of the little macrame uh, coasters to put the candle on. So this is an overview of the family room. Again, nothing really has changed in here since even my last home tour. I love it so much like this. This will probably, this room probably will not change much until maybe even fall. So coming in here to my kitchen, I just posted a video on some painting and some updates that we did in here, new light fixtures, back, uh, painted backsplash and painted all the walls and new bar stools. So I did just post that video. Um, so you can go check that out and you can find out where everything was from in that video and then some future updates that we're going to be doing in the kitchen. We're just starting the renovation process, so it takes a little while. But over here on this wall, again, sticking with that botanical print, um, but greenery, garden, I found these pictures from At Home, the Rosemary Sage Parsley and Thyme, and I love those. And so I just put those over here. My bar stools came in two sets of two, or they came in sets of two, so I got two sets. So I only put three at my island, so I just have the extra one over here that can easily be pulled up to the island if we need it. 
Over here on my table, this will be the next thing that we're hopefully replacing here within the next month or so. Um, I have my tiered tray. This is probably my favorite tiered tray I've done in a while. Again, just a lot of greenery and natural colors. And this is probably my favorite side because I love my little green chubby polka dotted bunny up there. So this is this tray. So coming over here to my coffee bar, I also have a video on how I did this. You know, again, I think it's just very fresh and bright with some greenery for spring. So I can try to link that video down below. Also, if you haven't seen it and you can kind of get an idea of where more of this stuff is from. But again, I just stuck with that green theme, greenery, and then also green colors. Um, this is new, this little coffee. Um, this is one of the little enamel coffee makers, you know, and I got that from Home Goods. And then these Bee and Willow mugs, love this pattern. I ended up getting all the plate, the appetizer plates and everything in this as well. And bowls, those are from Bed Bath & Beyond. So this is basically how everything has come out on this. And if you guys have any specific questions on where something is from, definitely leave those down in the description box and I will go back to you. I'm a little behind. I'm a couple videos behind on some comments, but I hope to catch up on all those this week because I don't really have anything else to do because we're all stuck in the house. So if you haven't heard from me or I haven't responded to your comments, hopefully I'm going to get to those in the next couple days. So then when you come into the kitchen, these are the bar stools. I got those from Ashley Home. I love them. They are super sturdy. I highly recommend those. And then over here, I have my little faux cake. And on it, I have a video on how I made this. It was a while back. If I can find it, I will link it down in the description box so you know how to make that. Just added this little um, stem here with a little flower. Just put it, laid it right on top. Up here on the wall, I have this plate rack and these plates were part of the little rose plates that I have in the dining room. They had a couple that just had eucalyptus. So I put those in there with my Ray Dunn hot plate. So again, another little Easter decor, but you know, not too much yet. And then over here, I don't really have too much. I just have this fresh cut flowers um, sign on the windowsill. I have dinner in the crock pot because it's real life. And then over here, I have this little crock. Again, I'll have all this. I'll have the kitchen decorate video link down below so you can get a little bit more specifically. So I just put this crock with some utensils that I use, you know, most often when I cook. And this is actually a canister. I like it better because it's a little taller. I find the utensil holders to be a little too short. So I just got the canister from Target and took the top off. And then over here, I have a strawberry shortcake candle. These little risers are my favorite and they are actually just trivets from Target. And I think they were like six or seven dollars. Threshold brand, you'll find them in the kitchen section. I think that they make perfect trivets, or I mean not trivets, perfect risers to put like plants or candles or something on. So I just have that on my stove. And then I have a couple green, a green towel. And then this one says, these are the good old days. I got that from Joann's. Over here, I just have my wicker fruit bowl from Pier One that I love so much. On, on my refrigerator, my daughter drew this for me. I love it so much. It works perfectly in the, you know, botanical garden kind of theme we have going on in here. So I hung that on my fridge. And then up here, I just have the kitchen is my happy place. And that is in one of a tray that came from Walmart. And then over here, I made this little riser, not in a video, it was just super easy, a board with some of those little feet, stained it. And then this canister set is my favorite right now. And I got that from Hobby Lobby. And then over here in this corner, I have this beautiful little tray that came from at home and I just added some salt and pepper shakers that were also from Target that matched the canister that I have holding my utensils next to the stove. 
the little plant came from Target, the lamp came from Target, the little towel um, ladder my husband and I made, and then the plant and the basket came from Target as well. And then the last thing decor wise I have in here is this little tulip bunch. These are tulips, these are like the real touch tulips or whatever, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I got them on Amazon. I will link those in my Amazon store. They are amazing. I have them in this picture that's um, from the Hearth and Hand collection and then also on another one of those little trivet risers from Target. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed my little spring home tour. Um, oh, and I forgot to tell you that that rug in front of the sink is from Target as well. So anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this tour. I hope it gives you a little bit of spring decorating inspiration. I will be starting my Easter decorating this week. I hope everybody is staying safe and well. I am just trying to keep as much normalcy by posting some regular decorating videos to kind of give you guys something to watch and maybe get our minds off of all the craziness that is going on in this world. So I hope that everybody is safe and well, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.